Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. In Mecca, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sitting there and all the Sahaba are there. Those who were in the Battle of Badr, Ohud, those who were at the Bayt of Ridwan, they are all sitting there. And the, and the, the ten who were guaranteed Jannah sitting there. The two father-in-laws of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Bakr and Umar are sitting there. The two son-in-laws of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Uthman and Ali are sitting there. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looks around and he says, where's Bilal? He says, where's Bilal? And Bilal stands up. He said, Bilal, climb on the roof of the Kaaba and give the Adhan. The roof of the Kaaba was the most holiest roof, not just to the Muslims, but also to the Mushrikeen. Because the Prophet ﷺ wanted to show a token of the society that he came to create, that Bilal left the servitude of man. And he went into the servitude of the Lord of man. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated him. You see, 1400 years ago, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa dealt with the issue of racism. And we still have it within our communities. When Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu said to Bilal, Ya ibn Sauda, oh you son of a black woman. Bilal radiallahu anhu went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he complained. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa called Abu Dhar. And he said, Oh Abu Dhar, did you actually say that? And he said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Inna kaimran fi kal jahiliya. He said, You're a man who still has the traits of ignorance in him. And then the Prophet Sallallahu said, Amazing thing. He said, I, Muhammad, am equally the son of a black woman as I am a white woman. Because he was breastfed by a black woman. You see the society that the Prophet Sallallahu came to create. 1400 years ago, he saw Bilal suffering. How was Bilal elevated? Bilal radiallahu anhu was being tortured and the Prophet sallallahu walked past. And he said to the Sahaba, he said, is there anybody who can buy Bilal? And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu goes. And he goes to Umayyah, he says to him, sell me Bilal. And Umayyah says, I'll sell him because you corrupted him in the first place. And he said, how much? He said, I sell him for 10 gold coins. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu goes home and he brings 10 gold coins and he gives it to him. And he takes the, the 10 gold coins and he begins to laugh. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu says, what's making you laugh? He said, I swear by Allah, if you had haggled with me and you had offered me one gold coin for Bilal, I would have accepted one gold coin. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said, I swear by Allah, Umayyah, if you had haggled with me and you had asked me for a hundred gold coins for Bilal, I would have given you a hundred gold coins. He bought Bilal and then he freed Bilal. And then what would he say? He would say, Bilal, say you do not Bilal. Bilal is my master. The greatest creation after the Anbiya to walk on the face of this earth called Bilal his master. He bought him. What would Umar Abdul Khattab say? The second greatest creation to walk on the face of this earth. He would say, Abu Bakr is our master and he freed our master. Let me make this quite clear. There's many muftis. If I'm wrong, they can rectify me afterwards. To be racist is as haram as eating a pork sandwich. And today you have these beautiful masjids, million pound masjid. You call it masjid e Bilal. But if Bilal came, you would allow Bilal to become a committee member because he doesn't come from your village or your country. Sorry. Sorry, Bilal. We know the sacrifice that you made. But you know what? You're not from India. And we Indians and we Pakistanis are the chosen people. So we can't make you a committee member. 1400 years ago, and you have this, still have the same problem. The Prophet Sallallahu to Abu said to Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar, you are a man who has the traits of Jahiliyyah in you. You have the traits of Jahiliyyah in you. And then the Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever has the traits of Jahiliyyah, he will dwell in the fire of Jahannam. And the Sahaba said, in Sama wa in Salah, 
even if he prays or fasts, the Prophet Sallallahu said, in Sama wa in Salah, even if he prays or he fasts, he will dwell in the fire of Jahannam. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.